Welcome to the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Tuesday, September 8th. This is Gina McGuire. We will see gradually warming temperatures along with much drier conditions across the Great Basin as we move through this week with temperatures well above normal from mid to late week across the entire Great Basin and also we'll likely see some record temperatures or near record temperatures over much of the northern half of Nevada. We also may see thunderstorms return late in the weekend over parts of southern or western Nevada into Idaho, however confidence is still low in this scenario. Yesterday we did see some isolated thunderstorms over the southern half of Utah and even a few lightning strikes into far southern Nevada. These thunderstorms did produce light amounts of rainfall with some areas over southern Utah seeing near or just over two-tenths of an inch of precipitation. Over the last one to two weeks it's been very dry over the western half of Nevada with no precipitation reported. However, over parts of the central Idaho mountains we've continued to see at least some precipitation which has pushed the area to above normal at least over the last 7 to 14 days. Further south we've seen spotty areas of precipitation across the eastern portion of Nevada more like 7 to 10 days ago and also across Utah bringing some areas near normal. However that precipitation again was more spotty. Looking at fire activity reported yesterday generally light initial attack was reported across the Great Basin however we did have one new large fire over northern Utah the Wheeler fire which was last reported at just under 300 acres. Looking at the water vapor satellite image from this morning, an area of low pressure now well to the northeast will continue moving eastward. However, west to northwest flow will still keep cooler temperatures across Idaho today, especially this morning as morning temperatures were quite cold, along with some breezy west to northwest winds, especially over Idaho, possibly even down into northern Utah, and then into Wyoming. High pressure in the south will start building north through this week, bringing much warmer and drier conditions to the Great Basin. Also be watching Hurricane Linda off the Baja Peninsula as this gradually tracks north and west. We may start to see some of this moisture move into the Great Basin later in the weekend. Today we'll likely see low fire potential across Idaho and into the eastern half of Utah with the cooler temperatures and the recent moisture. However, still low to moderate fire potential across much of Nevada into western Utah where conditions have been much drier. Looking at the surface conditions today, temperatures will start warming to near normal across the area and a few degrees above normal over western and southern Nevada with relative humidity in the single digits across Nevada and in the low to mid-teens further east and north. As we move into Wednesday, the ridge starts to build across the west and this will allow for a more significant increase in temperature from Wednesday through the early part of this weekend with a return to low to moderate fire potential now into parts of southwest Idaho and western Utah. Temperatures on Wednesday will reach the mid-90s over western Nevada and now reach in the upper 80s over parts of southern Idaho into northern Utah with again very low relative humidity along with poor overnight humidity recovery. By Thursday the ridge really starts to amplify and we'll start to see our temperatures peaking over parts of western and southern Nevada where we'll likely see some record temperatures begin over parts of the northern half of Nevada and again you'll start to see a more return to low to moderate fire potential over much of southern Idaho into western Wyoming. Surface conditions show these increasing temperatures along with continued very dry conditions. As we move into Friday through the weekend the ridge amplifies in the west and this will bring our warmest temperatures across the Great Basin on Friday and Saturday with very low relative humidity along with poor overnight recoveries therefore we'll likely see increased fire behavior on our ongoing fires. Also low to moderate fire potential is expected on any new starts across the area. Temperatures will peak at 6 to 8 degrees above normal over the northern and eastern sections of the Great Basin and 10 to 15 degrees above normal over parts of Nevada, which will likely see record temperatures. As we move through Saturday, these conditions continue, and by Sunday, the remnants of Hurricane Linda start to move into parts of southern, western, and northwest Nevada and possibly into southern and central Idaho. Confidence on this moisture is still low. We may just see some cloud cover or we may see an increase in showers and thunderstorms. This will continue to be monitored after this period of very warm and dry conditions. We'll be watching any lightning that does return, especially to western and northern sections of the Great Basin that have been much drier, and any lightning will likely only be producing light amounts of precipitation. As we move into Monday, we'll likely see a greater push of moisture over southern Nevada and Utah with better chances of wetting rains. However, any precipitation further north may be more spotty, and we'll also see an increase in winds by Monday as an area of low pressure drops into the Pacific Northwest with this wind increasing across Idaho and northern Nevada. Therefore, we may see more of an uptick in fire behavior on our fires as we go into Monday with the wind before possibly cooler and wetter conditions by the middle of next week. Looking at fire danger indices now across the Great Basin, ERCs over the northern portion of the Great Basin into Idaho and Wyoming decreased significantly with the recent much colder weather and the moisture and are well below normal. 
However, areas still across Nevada and Utah are near or just above normal as the deeper moisture and cold temperatures remain further north. We did see some cool overnight morning temperatures into the early morning. However, afternoon temperatures have still been getting quite warm with dry conditions. Current live fuel moistures are generally near or below normal across all areas of the Great Basin. Looking a little bit further ahead towards the middle of September, we may still see above normal temperatures and drier conditions on the western side of the Great Basin with a little bit more moisture over southern Nevada and Utah. However, this scenario is still fairly low in confidence as if we do see a deeper area of low pressure drop into the Great Basin next week, we may see more of a return to cooler weather and wet conditions. But again, that wetter condition will likely be focused over the eastern half of the Great Basin. That concludes the briefing for today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you for listening.